So, hello to all audience of Mouse Zone Radio Show. We are at the Motoculture Festival. This is the third day uh, on Sunday. Uh, we have the huge pleasure to be with someone you know. Uh, this is Daniel from Eden. Hello, thank you for taking time to answer some questions. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. How are you doing? Very good too. Very good too. So, uh, this is the first time for you playing at the Motoculture Festival in France. Uh, did you have the time to, to go to see on the, on the site? I've um, just been looking around a little bit. It was raining this morning and yeah. we just uh, we drove in for, you know, it was a long drive. Yeah. And um, so we're just kind of getting our bearings and, and just enjoying the, the nice cool weather because yeah. the summer in, in France and Spain and Italy and even Germany and the UK was all hot. It was okay. very hot very weather. Hot. Yeah. yeah, very hot. So a little bit hair, a little bit fresh. <laughs> okay. So there is a 10 years of difference between the evolution of chaos and empire of the blind. Uh, that's a little bit lot. Uh, what caused it? Uh, life. You know, life gets in the way sometimes. Um, we, after, we, after that record, we did about three and a half years of touring. And, um, but as you know, Lee Altus also plays with Exodus. And, um, and right around that time, Gary Holt needed to go fill in for Jeff Hendeman with Slayer, yeah. and then we lost Jeff. So uh, they had Gary, you know, full time, um, and Exodus wanted to keep their ship going. So they enlisted my other guitar player, Craig and Lum, and it took uh, uh, those guys were both gone a lot. So it was very hard for us to get together to work on new material. So it took us a little while, yeah. and then once we finally, Craig had written a bunch of stuff yeah. and was like, "Well, I have enough stuff for a record." We could just go in, or we, you know, if we want to wait and everybody write, it's going to take more time. Yeah. Let's go. So we, so we did. In 2000, what was it? Uh, 2019, yeah. we finally got in the studio, okay. and so we did that. And then COVID hit, right before we we're getting ready to come on tour in 2020. Okay. So. So that's the explanation. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. Okay. So, are there any plans for a, a new record? Uh, it's been two years now already. Did you start composing uh, something, yeah. got well, ideas? Yeah. Well, during the, all the COVID, everybody's been working on stuff. And we have, we have enough material probably for at least one album, probably more. Um, and we have a lot of live stuff. So um, once we finish touring, we'll be done by November. Okay. Um, and then we'll take a little break. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get everything together and probably start recording in the beginning of the year sometime. Okay. Be patient. It will come. It will come. Another so. tra <laughs> trash piece of Eden. So Eden is now on the on the road uh, for tr uh, since tr 38 years now. Uh, what is your view on the evolution of metal uh, of the metal scene in terms of creation and in terms of business too? Uh, well, I mean, it's. I think it's bigger than ever now. There's so many different genres. Um, but I don't think that a lot of the, the bands, and I don't think the, the genre itself is really getting the love that it should from the, from the media and from the radio. Um, we're having to you know, push with the streaming services and everything like that. Um, they try to keep us underground for the most part. Sometimes we like it, sometimes we don't. Um, I'd like to see all my metal brothers and sisters be able to make a better living. Um, so the state of that hasn't changed much. In fact, with the, with the internet and all the streaming services, it's made it harder. Okay. That's the main difference, yeah, nowadays. Uh, what is or are the bands or musicians that uh, led you to the metal scene? Uh, well, I would say probably Black Sabbath is the, my biggest influence as far as heavy music, that kind of doom metal kind of style. I think I, I, I grew up with a lot of rock and roll stuff. Uh, as a kid, you know, like Beatles and Rolling Stones and The Doors, uh, but then The Animals and, you know, Eric Burton, all that. So, but then as, as I got a little older, it was Led Zeppelin and, you know, bands like that. And then when I heard Black Sabbath, yeah. but, you know, things changed yeah. because it was darker and heavier. And I was like, that everything. was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember going to the record store. I was probably 14 years old okay. and looking through and I found Paranoid. And I was like, ah, oh. I took that home. <laughs> and I still have that same cover, or the same, the same uh, record, but I tried to play it not too long ago, and it's yeah. pretty wore out. Very cool. So. Very cool story. Do you remember the first show you get? 
my first show, well, actually my first show, yeah. uh, I went with my my aunt and uncle and a, my cousin, yeah. and we saw Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. Okay. It was a country show. Yeah, country. That was my first show. Okay. But my first uh, rock, rock show, show yeah. was, uh, God, I think it was, uh, I think it was a Dan the Green with Aerosmith and Van Halen, uh, Foreigner, Hart, uh, ACDC, yeah. yeah, and then my second show was Black Sabbath and yeah. Van Halen. Down the green uh, in, Oakland? in Oakland? Yeah, it's yeah. a big, it's like the festivals you have here, but stadium, yeah, stadium. you know, holds like probably almost a hundred thousand people, okay. yeah. So we crossed two fucking years with the fucking COVID uh, to 20 and 21. Uh, how did you cross this period as a, as a band and as a human being? Well, uh, as a human being, um, Leading up to the tour in 2020, after the record was done, um, my wife and I had planned to move to Florida to help with her parents. And then COVID hit and it kind of took everything like slow motion. Like, what are we doing? We have to, everybody, sh everything shut down. Um, but her parents were calling and, and finally we just rented an RV and we drove across country. And because everything had kind of, we had to cancel all the tour, everything, it was a little difficult because that's what I do. and. Um, I kind of, I think I was walking around in circles a little bit, but luckily we live close to the beach. And um, so I used to take my dog and we'd take long walks yeah. and, and I would walk on the beach and that saved me. And then it was like, oh, I can play music, I can do, so just playing more guitar and drums and music and the beach pretty much saved me, saved me mentally for sure. Okay. Happy for that, happy for you. Uh, outside of the band, Heathen, what are you doing? Um, I'm a swim instructor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a swim instructor. I've been doing, been teaching uh, for about 30 years, oh, yeah? and I work with I work with all levels, from beginning, yeah. little, you know, little kids, whatever, all the way to stroke. And I work with kids that are uh, athletes that are our swim team and all yeah. that, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's very cool. Uh, so, you are in France at the Moto Culture. Uh, what do you know about this country and uh, about is is rock or metal scene bands? Uh, well, I mean, this is not my first time in France, you know, obviously. Um, and I've been to lots of different cities in France, and I love it here. I love it. And the people, I love the people. Um, the, the festivals and some of the shows that we've done over the years have always been great, and everybody's been so gracious, and the food is marvelous. Um, the wine? The wine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm from California, so I'm close to Napa, and we have very good wine and very good cheese there. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's but it's also, it's France. Yeah. So you have to respect all of that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I love it. And, you know, we did, um, we did Rock Hard Festival in 2008, and it was my, the day we played was on my anniversary, my wedding anniversary. So I brought my wife for the festival, and I said, where do you want to go? You know, we will stay for a week, yeah. and she said, "I want to go to Paris." So we went to Paris, and and we spent no, some time. Oh my God, <laughs> right. it was wonderful, and we want to do it again. You know, yeah. so but I love it, and I you know, and uh, like I said, all the people here have been so wonderful and and beautiful. So we try to be. <laughs> okay, so to conclude this interview, Daniel, did you have something to add? Some words to say? Well, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we're so honored to be here, and. Um, we hope to come here many, many more times in the future, and we hope that you'll have us. Thank you very much. This was Daniel from Eden. David, sorry, David. What? Uh, the, this is this is the third day. I'm a little bit tired. Sorry, David from Eden. Wish you a lot of good things for the band, for you, for your friends, for your family. Have a good show. The band is gonna play in a few hours. So thank you very much, David. Wish you a lot of good things. Bye bye. Thank you.